The weather wasn't cool today. <laughs> I was sweating buckets out there. I was trying to play some tennis today. Yeah. It was gorgeous weather. The sun came out. But yeah, it's acclimating gonna, to the new heat yeah, here in June. It's going to get about 10 degrees warmer okay. than what we saw today. But I'm going to focus on the positive first. We have a little bit of rain in the forecast. Okay. What is that, right? <laughs> I mean, what is rain? We don't know. It's been a while, but we have a little bit of rain in the forecast. And Amy, we have a cold front. Will you take it? Yeah, a weak cold front on the way. This is only going to impact northern and parts of central Utah tomorrow, but it's something. So there is an atmospheric river, a storm system working its way into the Pacific Northwest and even the inland Northwest. Notice all the rain impacting western parts of Washington, western Oregon. We're not going to see that much rain, but we will see the cold front move in and the remnants of the atmospheric river. So we'll have the lift with the cold front. We'll have a little bit of moisture as well. So that will lead to some isolated rain chances tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Some cloud cover, especially north of Salt Lake staying dry, maybe a shower near the Idaho border. But once we work our way toward lunchtime, we start to see that rain build down into parts of Box Elder County and then parts of the Cache Valley. And that gradually works its way toward Ogden, Salt Lake, Provo around 5 p.m. So that evening commute could be a little bit wet again, isolated in nature, but we'll take what we can get at this point. The cold front does wash out, though, and as we work our way toward Monday night, Tuesday morning, rain chances completely go away. Favorite areas to see rain are going to be to the north of I-70 and really uh, from we're going to say Provo North. That's where we have some of the better opportunities as well as into far northeastern parts of Utah, southwestern Wyoming, southern Idaho favored to see about a tenth of an inch, some higher amounts for the Wasatch back. There could be about a quarter of an inch of rain. Some of the higher peaks as well going to see some rain. So that's the good news. We need the rain. Things are drying out. Fire danger is increasing, so a little bit of rain will help out. It's going to keep our temperatures slightly cool tomorrow afternoon, mainly in the upper 70s, lower 80s for the Wasatch front, upper 90s though for St. George, even southeastern Utah, Moab, Bullfrog going to see temperatures in the 90s tomorrow afternoon. And then everybody going to see temperatures in the 90s and triple digits as we start to work our way toward the middle of the week. A big area of high pressure builds in that sticks around Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hot temperatures are going to really build over the desert southwest. The hottest temperatures we've seen. This is a bona fide heat wave. Temperatures are going to be 10, 20 degrees above where they should be this time of the year. And these are the heat alerts that kick into effect Thursday and Friday. Notice St. George, southern parts of Washington County. So that lower Washington County under an excessive heat watch Thursday. Friday. That also includes Lake Powell. So if you're going down to Lake Powell or to any of our southern parks, you want to make sure that you just keep in mind temperatures are going to be hot. Temperatures between 105 and 110 for St. George, where there's that excessive heat watch in effect. Notice those temperatures hot and overnight lows stay around 80 degrees. And we're going to see temperatures here in Salt Lake also getting into the 90s from Wednesday all the way into the upcoming weekend. And we typically see as we flip that calendar to June, a lot of days in the 90s and 80s. Today we saw temperatures in the 80s for highs that stay two in a row. We got up to 86 in Salt Lake, 105 in Phoenix, 87 in Denver. So those hot temperatures are going to build over the west with that heat wave. 75 is what we're sitting at right now. North wind at eight miles per hour. Temperatures really comfortable area wide, still holding on to 89 degrees in St. George. Overnight lows are going to stay mainly in the 50s, lower 60s to start your Monday. We need a little moisture in southern Utah, just not in the forecast. Temperatures in the triple digits, lows struggling to get below 80 degrees. A couple showers for the Wasatch front tomorrow, but then we dry out and heat up from middle and end of the week into the weekend. Stay tuned. More local news coming up.